Not loving it, but. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is happening, people? We are starting today with 35.76. Was fortunate enough to win a little under four stacks yesterday in a short session. Anyway, 35.76 is the starting roll. In we go. Jacks. We are going to be coming in for the squeeze here. And face a jam from under the gun. Oh, cool through, but it's two passive bows. But cold call bet, cold call three bet, ace eight suited from the small blind, and then call a hundred big blind jam. It's the only note we have on him. I mean, this doesn't feel great. We're gonna under the gun, but we're gonna click calls because he seems to have a degree of volatility pre flop. It's whatever. He's cold calling eights and, and then calling to a jam. Then uh, we'll manage to spike a jack. He does have the diamonds locked up, so we'll have a sweat on our hands, but pretty good turn nevertheless. Right, Jack 10. Mr. Babkeg. Comes in for the lip raise. Our hand looks pretty nice. So we'll click call. <laughs> Not the nuts and it'll jam. Doesn't get much better than this, ladies and gents. <laughs> Literally could not get any better than this. Go on then. We'll click yes, because I feel bad. Oh, we have been clicking no in honor of our new friend punting stacks. Go all out. Doesn't hit the no. Oh, it's a cruel game sometimes. Bottom left, meanwhile. We apparently check back the flop, which wasn't intended, but here we are. No longer have the nuts by the river. For a modest bet. Oh, we throw a right I guess. Snap call from our opponent shows up. A set of seven, so we lose a ton of value by uh, time bank checking back the flop there. We were just focused on the other table, wasn't really paying attention. And I think we are just. Yeah, for third of like queens. Jam flop. Thing is, the thing in these spots, like three bit pots out of position. He's like jack high, ten high balls. Not sure about ten jacks specifically, but you see your queens and kings to a lesser extent. And obviously, we're snapping off. Kind of sucked that aces with right back kings. Unblock his ace jack, but pretty easy call, of course. And we'll have the biggest sweat of our life. Huge combo draw from our opponent. Friend of the stream will, of course, click yes. It's not looking good for the first one. And turn some additional outs in the second one, which also isn't looking good. We'll lose the entirety of that pot, unfortunately. Bringing the run good to a little bit of a halt. It's King, going to be coming in for the three bit hit. Interesting ball. Somebody likes it. Uh, we'll come back to this one. Table one, we squeeze. Oh, we're super deep with this guy. He cold calls versus an under gonna open. We squeeze. He cold calls to score. He calls to squeeze. I think we're folding just yet. We get stacked for 200 bigs by fives. 
and block like every conceivable draw. And Ace King just gonna go for a block here on the river. We should probably just be folding here, but I'm gonna peel one more and probably talk myself into a call on blanks. Ace King getting called by Ace Queen, so at least one good result. Checks the river. We like to see that one. But he would also do the same, I'd assume, with his uh, his valley hands, like his fives and stuff here. He's clearly a fish. Do, do we miss value from like a king jack or something here? He's check raised and bombed into like a super strong range, but we unlock all these draws. This is probably like a really neat check back, but we don't get called by anything worse, right? We probably do. Turned out to just be the combo draw. Queen Jack suited, coming in for the three bet. Should size down a little bit, I think. Like 10 seems better here. Cold call <laughs> from Beaver Fan in the big blind. And looks like we're tripling off. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's true. That is, it's not a friend of the stream as well. I think it might be one of my sign ups. Not loving it, but <laughs> need to balance out all the value we're going to have here. Ace King, I guess, aces. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Be punting up stacks, I guess. Alright, we'll get a fold. Sometimes it gets through. Keep the image up, guys. Can't stop bluffing now. People have stopped calling us. Right, King 10 will open. And check call a fairly large bet on the flop from our opponent. I think that's going to be the plan again here on the turn. Nice. Another pretty large bet. Uh, we definitely can throw some raises in here. Uh, and he the station. The wrong flush improves on the river. Do we just block now? Try and get some value from his like Queen 10 10 Jack that check back. I like it. I don't think he turns hands into a bluff and we have a pretty easy fold to our raids. Make sure we're putting some flushes in the line to protect our range. We'll get the call! And it is from Jack 10. So, well played us. It was up a little over two stacks on the day. 36.84 is the roll. We are currently looking at cashing at 50 on the leaderboard, but obviously we're going to be gone for the rest of the day, so we can kiss that goodbye. Looking at $65 in rate back, so bankroll peaking once more at $3,750 or thereabouts. Ladies and gentlemen, as is always the case, it has been my pleasure, me and Caesar, wish you a very happy day. <laughs> Hope you grind, Scobo. Thanks for being here, guys. Peace, love, all that good shit. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow.